welcome to Four Zeros Impact series, where we speak to founders and CEOs who shine a light on their companies out there using technology to help solve climate issues and generally doing good things in the world. Today, I'm here with Eleanor Isaac, who's the founder of Beware. It's a pleasure to have you here today, Eleanor. If you'd like to give Thanks us a short, in- thank you. If you'd like to give us a short intro. Yeah, sure. So my name is Eleanor. I'm from Italy originally, so I grew up in the Italian dolomites and the beautiful nature. Um, I'm an industrial designer by training and I did my master's in at the Technical University of Munich where I started doing research about plastic pollution and during this uh, phase of research the idea of bee worm popped up so after my studies I uh, teamed up with two biologists and we decided to found bee worm. Okay, fantastic. Thanks very much for that intro. I mean, look, I find it a fascinating company, what you guys are looking to do. If you could tell us, you know, the climate issue that you're looking to tackle in a, in a bit more detail. Yeah, sure. So plastic pollution is actually really linked to, uh, to climate change because it's creating a lot of uh, problems that are uh, yeah, also um, connected to climate change. So for example, the plastic depo- disposal and production Uh, results in 850 million tons of greenhouse gases in 2019. So it has a huge impact on on climate change. And also, uh, like, as you might know, most of the plastic gets burned today or it gets disposed to nature, which is even worse. But the one that gets burned, like for one kilogram, you create 2.8 kilogram of CO2. So yeah it actually has a huge impact on greenhouse gases and what we are trying to do is to keep this carbon in the circle in order to to use this resource for uh industrial purposes and not like uh put it in the environment yeah so yeah Yeah. it's actually um it, it would have a huge impact to to solve plastic pollution for the whole climate change uh issue Fantastic. Yeah, it was very purpose driven and a great way you're looking to do. I mean, if you tell us a bit more, you touched on it there, but you know, your company's solution to the problem and how you might look to, to achieve it. Yeah, sure. So uh, what we are doing is that we're creating a biotic recycling process for polyethylene. Mm-hmm. Polyethylene is the world's most commonly used plastic material. It's mm-hmm. over 30% of the production. Uh, you might know it from like foil and wax and all this stuff that you mm. use on a daily basis. Uh, we are looking for microorganisms and enzymes that are splitting up the long hydrocarbon chains of polyethylene into shorter fragments. And oh, those right. fragments can be reused in the petrochemical industry. So basically you're doing a raw material recycling process instead of a mechanical recycling process. And yeah. So basically what you do is that you use uh, all this trash that we have out there as a resource for uh, new production lines. And it's a, it's a closed circle. And yeah, it's pretty similar to chemical recycling, which uh, people might already know, but chemical yeah. recycling has the issue of high energy. Um, so it needs a lot of energy and a lot of, pr- a lot of pressure. So high temperature, high pressure. Uh, So it's not really um, so beneficial right now. And biotic recycling, on the other hand, works with enzymes. So with biocatalytic processes that work on room temperature and like low energy levels. So that's actually a great benefit of biotic recycling. But it's still a long way to go. (laughs) Okay, yeah, no, thanks for that. Very insightful. I mean, what final question is your overall mission and vision for your company and maybe where you hope to see yourself in the next three to five years? Yeah, so our overall mission is to make a big contribution to a circular plastics economy. And I think uh, biotic and raw material recycling in general is one of the key technologies there. But we also aim to like, work on several levels because plastic pollution is such a complex uh, issue so we want to also work on education on um, yeah involving um, the the 
broad public in the issue, yeah. telling people what plastics is actually uh, doing to the environment and all this kind of stuff. So um, we want to create a holistic solution and be aware of all the issues along the value chain. Mm. And that's our, uh, our big goal. So uh, right. in three to five years, we will probably be in the middle of um, scaling, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, so nice. you have to, yeah, it's, it's a bit um, hard for, for biotech to say, say how long it's gonna take, uh, but usually it's five to 10 years for a normal really? <laughs> development yeah. timeline. Yeah. yeah, it's not like a software, you have to, work with uh yeah living organisms and all this yeah, kind of stuff of and it's really really research-based so it's gonna still take a while but we do have a lot of support from the technical university of munich uh so Good. we try to accelerate things a little bit in the, in the next couple of years and then hopefully we will have a working process that really is a game changer in in the industry uh, sounds fantastic you know and i wish you guys the best of luck in in the hopefully yeah hopefully that takes that process can be quicker and more efficient than than hoped you know so but look, thanks so much for being a guest today on the impact series um hopefully we can have you on as a guest in a future series reflecting on this time and seeing the progression that you've made and also the impact that you guys have had but yeah thanks again and if there's anything else you'd like to add um no, thank you for, for having me. I'm looking forward to talk to you again. And yeah, I'm happy that you wish us luck. We will need it, but we are super motivated. And yeah, <laughs> hope to see you soon. Thank you.